how much, if any, postmenopausal hormone therapy is needed for a woman? Well, we go back to the basics, which are very important, and that's the history and the physical. That is far more important than any type of blood testing, and certainly we do not recommend salivary testing. What I like to tell women is, it doesn't really matter what's inside your spit or your blood. What matters is what's inside your body tissues, what's inside the brain, what's inside the bone, what's inside the genital tissue, the breast tissue. So the way we determine hormonal balance uh, requires a complete history and physical. What are your symptoms? Are you having hot flashes or not? Maybe you're not wired to flash. It doesn't mean you're out of the woods. You then need to look at the bone, and we like to do a bone density of the spine and the hip in women, and that correlates well with estrogen status, how strong and dense the bones are. If your bone density is great, that's wonderful. There's still a 50-50 chance of bone loss, so that has to be followed over time. We then want to do a full exam, looking at the skin, the hair, the special senses, feeling the thyroid gland, listening to the heart, checking the blood pressure, and importantly, doing a complete pelvic exam to look for signs of vaginal thinness because the vagina is exquisitely sensitive to estrogen. So loss of estrogen many times is manifested first in the genital tissues. Then after we determine what a woman's history is, her risk, her personal preferences, her family history, how she might have responded in the past to birth control pills, pregnancy, delivery, and so forth. Then we determine whether hormone therapy is needed. If a woman has a uterus, she needs both the estrogen and the progesterone to balance that and protect the uterus. If a woman has had surgical menopause with removal of her uterus and potentially ovaries, then generally she just needs estrogen. Testosterone, which has been called the male sex hormone, isn't really a male sex hormone, although men do have 10 times the levels women have in general. Women actually make more testosterone than they make estrogen. It's just that their ratios are in a female range, and they make less testosterone than a man. About 40% of the testosterone in a female is made in the ovaries, with the remaining 50 to 60% in the adrenal glands. So approximately one in six women after ovary removal of both ovaries may need some testosterone. But most naturally menopausal women who have their ovaries generally do not need testosterone, uh, although there might be a small subset who are low and not making any.